All right, I don't want to torment you with this music any longer. Good lord. Yes, I can see why you'd be bothered by that. All right. Back to it. Those of you wondering, oh, why do you have head headphones with batteries? Well, anything with active noise reduction tends to have batteries. I tend to use these for gaming. They're quite nice. But yes, apparently I managed to miss two fragments. I have no sodding idea where. There's all these locked locations to this here as well. I have to wonder if it's possible to see that period in different areas. I really don't know. Whatever the case, this is the only place that I can currently go. Everything else is currently locked. So, I guess we're going to the Brescia Ruins. Save game. There we go. So I don't know how... This is not the kind of thing I want to really be doing on a regular basis. This, to me, is too much like a blind let's play. It's stretching what WTF is supposed to be, which is like a first impression series. But it's an RPG. You can't do a first impressions of that without taking a ton of time. I don't know. Maybe I could justify doing it for RPGs only. I don't know. It's. I know some people like it, but I just I feel it's junky. You know, it's lazy. It's ugh, makes you feel dirty. All right. In the meantime, let's continue, shall we? Rejecting the easy path, humanity has chosen to build a society based on human technology rather than relying on the Falci. A provisional government has replaced the Sanctum, and a scientific organization calling itself the Academy searches ruins for ancient technological secrets. One such site is on the shores of Lake Brescia, where a giant war weapon has been unearthed. Oh, that sounds like fun. Can I fight it? Can I... Steal it? I have no idea. Alright! Let's get the TARDIS in motion and get our asses in gear, shall we? Once again, yes, those who are asking, yes, the VODs will be on YouTube. And by the way, there's supposed to be video content going out today, but my uploader isn't around. He's back in. He's actually moving back to Romania at the moment, so he hasn't got his modem for a couple of days, and I'm getting someone else to upload it, but they're having problems, so the content will be out. We just don't know when today. When reaching for the future, we sometimes fall into the past as we gaze upon events that cannot be changed. Our hearts grow bitter with regret. And you, my dear Sarah, will you encounter your past here? How will you choose to deal with that pain? <laughs> I can't take that seriously! I'm sorry! This Moogle comes catapulting through time. Moogles in time, yeah. I'd play a game called that. As long as I'm allowed to destroy the Moogles. Moogles? Wow. Moogles at every possible opportunity. They actually did a Final Fantasy game where you played a Chocobo, incidentally. Two, I think, come think of it. Are you sure? Yeah, check it out. You can see the ground above us. Wow. So this is how Cocoon looks from the inside. That's right, I forgot. So this is your first time here. Yep. <laughs> ah, time travel. Excuses for everything. Seriously poor texture work going on there, holy hell. Oh, is it you again? What is that? Look out! It's not sodding pleasant, is that for a fact? Also, notice in the first three hours of the game, there's only really been one set of quick time events. That's quite nice. I'm glad they didn't overdo that. Got this feeling that this ain't working out for you. Take the Moogle first. Yeah, and not looking to shake hands, I'm guessing. Owned. <laughs> Turns out, standing there was pretty dumb. Alright, fight the big stompy thing. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. How the hell do you fight a fist? I guess I'm about to find out. I don't know what it's weak to. I don't know if it's weak to anything, actually. Oh, that hurts. Okay. 
Wounding attack reduces maximum HP. Ah! Ah, I see. When wounded, a long battle is your enemy. Alright, I almost misread that. Okay. So kill it quick. Alright. I'd love to, I'm just, I'm not sure what it's vulnerable to. We'll put our shields up, I suppose. Let's see, once it maybe it punches me again, I'll be alright. Alright, so it doesn't really do anything aside from that one big swing, which you can easily avoid. Alright, fine. I think what it would be weak to. It's taking a lot of damage from just normal commando attacks. It's taking bugger all damage from magic at this point. An auto chain and see if that helps. Alright, I'm about to be hit. Shield against that. Nice and easy. I think we both need to go commando on this one. No, not like that. Because normal attacks seem to be the only ones actually doing any damage to it. Magic just does bugger all. Alright, I'm just going to have to hit it with normal attacks. Maybe, maybe Rune works as well, I don't know. Uh-oh, I don't like the look of that. Alright. Ah, there we go, let's dodge out of the way of that. I'm okay with... I, I suppose we could spend some time talking about the just the very principle of quick time events. I remember when quick time events used to be a cool thing. That was back when... Oh my. That was back when Shenmue came out. A lot of people might remember that. You okay? Yeah. And if you don't remember that, that's kind of unfortunate for you, but... At that point, it was actually pretty awesome. Because it was a fairly new thing, aside from the fact that it had obviously already been done in Dragon's Lair, but integrating it into a normal game wasn't all that common. I don't mind them being in the game as long as they're not excessive. Pretty much, yeah. Alright, hit them with everything we got. Now, if I recall correctly, this someone was actually telling me this. There is a way to change your leader as well if you want to play as somebody else. I just can't quite remember how to do it. Maybe back button or something? No, definitely not. There you go. Stagger to at least it's taking some damage there. There you go, you have three of those. Oh my. Ah! Shield. Switch back to that. Still appears to be staggered, so I think we can do some decent damage here. Now, certainly one of these buttons allows you to switch leader, I think, and I can't find which one it is. At the moment. Alright. It's about to die anyway. Shield against that. Just hit it with normal attacks at the moment. Just to work better. There we go. Dealt with. For the moment. Oh, handy. Can I have one of those? Actually, can I have all of those? What can I say? I'm a big fan of airships. Who the hell is it? Smack it about. Alright. Hit the Y button. Not sure. Oh, okay. Apparently I get to shoot it. There we go. Alright, that's pretty badass. All credit to them for that. Not too shabby. I really could have done better, apparently. And I got a bonus. Oh, nice bonus item for actually doing the cut, the quick time event p perfectly, huh? Too bad. Funny enough, some of that music really reminds me of Fantasy Star Online. It really does. That's not a bad thing, I might add. It's a good bit of nostalgia there. That was exciting. Guess it's over. Huh? It's the army. Cook up. Of course, it's the army. Friends of yours. Well, that was a dumb idea. Coward. Cool. 
You know, I just fought this big stonking giant. Why couldn't why can't I deal with this guy? Oh, of course. That's silly of me. Oh yeah, it was us that did that. It's even less likely than the whole time travel story. It's just a misunderstanding. Stick to the truth and we'll be okay. And smile. Smiling usually helps. <laughs> Smiling is highly disingenuous, especially when you're not really feeling like it. Hello. Wonder if there's a way of getting at that. Once again, this Moogle throw ability that's mentioned in the review guide is not something I've had the ability to do as of yet. So it would be nice to sort of shove the Moogle through the bars. Uh, the Moogle actually could fit. I don't know, it's a bit fat. Maybe it couldn't, but it should be able to get through there and actually get us out or whatever, but... Well... I guess that's going to do absolutely nothing. I hope none of the key combinations do it, so I guess it's just something we don't can't do yet. It doesn't mention when you get it. Alright, let's have words with you. You're going straight to Academy HQ. It wasn't me, Gov. Honest. <laughs> Give me food. Uh, when do we eat? You think this is some kind of joke, Hotshot? Pretty much. Do you two came up on the Grand Elevator? Huh? The Grand what? Sarah, what's he talking about? He could be talking about the elevator that's supposed to connect Cocoon and Pulse, but it's still being built. It's going to be finished next year. You're confused, man. It was done last year. Uh, last year? You haven't figured this out yet? No, you're not re remembering things wrong. Oh, but how did she not realize this? This was just explained to her ten minutes ago. We're about to travel through space and time to a wide variety of different locations in different time zones. I'm surprised when it suddenly isn't the same time. <sighs> she never listens. She never listens. Quite frankly putting the future education of our children in her hands is unacceptable. What could it all mean? Aliens. I don't get it. Oh, no, apparently not. <laughs> Next year in your time. Last year in this time. Which means we've traveled two years into the future. Basic mathematics! <laughs> Sarah, is that you? <laughs> hey. Watch yourself. <laughs> Bloody useless. Oh, Sarah, it is you. Know them? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I don't trust you one little bit. Alyssa Slidell, I'm an academy intern. I heard you apprehended our two observers, so here I am. Observers? Yes, they're invited guests of the academy. I was showing them around and forgot to give them their communication. <laughs> really? Stop up a second. Are these guys, are these observers, are VIPs? Pretty much. Uh, I hope we can forget about this. Wow, you are easily convinced. These are the worst security personnel in ever. No wonder they all got blown up in some kind of crazy apocalypse by emo guy. Strange world. Stranger events. Unfamiliar faces. An uncertain future. They speak of anomalies. Of a strange energy that warps time itself. Things that shouldn't exist here are appearing near the gates. Things that shouldn't happen are happening. They call this phenomenon the paradox effect. Dum dum and if you dum. Think about it, that term could apply to our existence in this age as well. Lightning. How will I find you when I don't even know when or where I'll end up next? Rain. Oh. I'll supply you both with comm devices. Right this way, please. Um, thank you for your help. I was just wondering, hmm? have we met before? Oh, no. Sorry about all that observer nonsense back there. Lucky for us, that soldier was so quick to believe me. <laughs> what an idiot. Well, I would quite like to know why the hell she's helping us out, so... So what's your story? I'm Alyssa 
Seidel, an academy trainee. And this is where I'm going to make my big discovery. That's not what I meant. What do you want with us? <laughs> I'm not sure I want to tell you yet. You'll just have to trust me. No. I can't trust women who wear ties. <laughs> right this way, please. I just want to tell any graphic, any kind of graphics team that's involved in a major AAA the game. For help with this investigation. Water drops on the screen, they aren't actually as clever as you think they are. Ah, a town with actual people to talk to. Let's have words. You know, I think we may have really traveled into the future. Ah, <sighs> finally, you're getting it. Quiet about where we're from for now. Pretty much. The music's much better now. You'll need an ID to travel any further into the ruins. Here, take this communicator and keep it with you at all times. Wunderbar. So I'm curious. Yeah? Just why are you helping us anyway? I saw you two. I saw how you got here through that thing. What? You mean through the gate? Yes. It is a kind of gate. It links to another world, doesn't it? <laughs> nice to finally have some clue what these things are for. You're even crazier than the rest of them. So basically, helping us out was almost like part of your research. But you still have questions. I do have questions, yes. About the gate, and about the paradox. Yeah. But with Atlas throwing his weight around, the ruins will be closed off and there goes the chance to get your answers. No, Kopopo. What? He's talking sense! Don't be so mean! No problem. Huh? We'll take care of that giant for you. No, that's not what I meant. No! no? No, don't- right. oh god. Now look what you've got on us into- Ah! Look! See, you can change leader here. <laughs> Apparently you just didn't have access to that. This is something else that people complained about in Final Fantasy XIII. I Again, it's not a game I've played, but I read so much about it and the complaints about it that you got features unlocked at an incredibly slow pace. It seems like they've sped it up this time, but there we go. Apparently, you can do it that way. Press Y to open the main menu and select Change Leader and switch characters. Alright, types of gateways. Hmm. Okay. That, was, that doesn't really explain anything, <laughs> if I'm totally honest. But okay, never mind. Interesting way of connecting the game together, though, via some kind of time travel hub. I don't know, I find it appealing. I could possibly start to care about this story at some point. It's certainly a bit of a slow burner. It would help if there were characters that I didn't hate, but well, I guess we're stuck with what we got. Five years ago, the Sanctum ordered the purge and drove people out of their homes. Oh, lovely. A lot of them escaped and fled. They hid in these rooms, hoping to survive. You look silly. You're not military. That's not a military haircut. Look at that crap. It's like, L'Oreal, because I'm worth it. Coupeau, my ass. Why did you offer to stop the giant? Because we can't let Atlas shut this place down. We need to search the ruins. There might be other gates we can use. Like the gate to Valhalla? Fair point. Right. We'll do it your way. Oh, well, that's been the way pretty much the entire time so far. Get some self-respect, woman. Okay. I'm pretty sure I got a bunch of items earlier, so... That's something we might want to have a look at. Alright, accessories. Hang on. Hang on a second, I'm pretty sure. Was that a customization item or something that I got? Let's have a look at the inventory. Okay. Key items. Medical kit. I'm not sure what we got that. That was from a box, wasn't it? I'm not sure what it is, why we have it. This will be useful later. Speciality items, that's the... What's its face? Accessories. Oh no, I have a second iron bangle. Excellent. Adornments. So, this Again, this I don't understand because I don't know what these are for at all. You can't equip them. I guess maybe you can combine them at a later date to make an outfit or something. Better guess. 
Is there anything in the outfit screen? Nope. And nope. Alright, I don't even know yet. <laughs> mysteries, ladies and gentlemen, mysteries. They don't appear to be mentioned in the reviewer's guide either. Alright, so if I change my leader around, then there we go. I should probably have a look at the Crystarium, because we've had a lot of points since last time. So let's see what's available. Alright. Noel. How much crystal do I have? Quite a lot. Alright, so I think we'll continue. I think I'll probably spread the points out a little bit. Make her kind of a pure mage and have him be mostly commando. Mostly. And a little bit of sentinel in there as well. Sounds fairly reasonable. That also toughens him up as well. Makes him much more resilient. Which is good. So hopefully he can take the hits. We're going to go all the way up to level 10 with him, I think. That's, well, 9 is as far as I can go. Oh, hello! Okay. Select a level bonus. I don't know what any of these are. <laughs> All right, so that's a bonus boost for Sentinel, a bonus boost for Commando. Unlock the Synergist role. Increase the active time battle gauge. This is a really hard decision to make. I don't, I don't even know. Actually, I have no idea. Is this, is this a useful thing? Maybe. I don't know what it is. Active time battle go gauge, I suppose, is a good thing, but. Let's unlock the roll. I, I don't know what it is. It doesn't tell me what it is. I am blindly guessing at it. There we go. Alright, cool. I have no idea what that is. What is the synergist? Tell me about it. As a passive, plus 10 HP. Nope. Bonus. Yep, that... I... I... Honestly, not a sodding clue. <laughs> I guess we'd have to look at the abilities that you get with it, really, but... I don't know. That's Again, that's confusing. It's not very self-explanatory. I don't know what a Synergist does. I don't know why I've unlocked it, but hey, we've unlocked the Synergist. There we go. Okay, so, other character. So we've got points here. We're going pure, pure mage with this one, so... I've learned arrow. How delicious. Some of you probably don't even get the joke right there, but never mind. Those of you in Britain certainly understand. Let's go all the way up. Ravager bonus. Excellent. Ah, I know this. I know this is better than the other one. Right. There you go. I have Fira. And then there. And then Thundara, which I'm fairly sure was a character from Thundercats. Feel the magic, feel the roar. And is that a... All the way up? Yes, here we go. Okay, pick a bonus. Look the saboteur roll. Increase active time battle. Or learn a ravager bonus boost. What is the ravid? I don't know. I'll go in for that. That sounds alright. I don't... I, again, I, I don't know. I'm guessing here. So, alright. She's going to be a damn good mage, I would think. Let's check her status. Passive ability summary. Bloody nothing at the moment. Right, right trigger. Passive ability summary. Rav bonus boost. Improved chaining. Okay, cool. Now I feel like I should have gone for the active time battle one because that would allow me to cast two of those in a row. But all right, well that's an AOE effect, so it's useful to know at any rate. All right. Cool. I sort of understand this a bit, <laughs> but not by much. I'm still not understanding how he's level 12 and Sarah's level 2. I don't know what that even means, if anything. Does it mean anything? Who the hell knows? Maybe that's just the level in their role, I suppose. Yeah, that must be it. Alright. Onward. Leader changed. There we go. You are now the leader. The frame rate drops pretty hard in this area. One has to assume it's something to do with the weather effects. And what the hell is that? Am I fighting the commander from Bit Trip Beat? Almost looks like I am. 
Alright, okay, so now I can actually use some reasonable abilities. Let's switch over to what we're good at. There we go. You, you go and kick the crap out of them. Deal physical damage to target nearby foes. Here, have a blitz. There we go. Beat the crap out of a commando. I never liked that game. I actually did. It was fairly cool, but the point has been made. What is that thing? It's a rabbit in a hat. I can't. I, I, I just, I can't, I don't feel right attacking that. I just, I just, I just don't. I'm sorry. So I'm going to beat up the commander first. There you go. Alright. You definitely need healing. I might have to switch to Sentinel, actually. Cause she's... Yeah, I'm working on it. Let me switch to... I'm going to have to set up a proper one where she's actually a mage. I haven't got the right paradigm settled up yet. Mediguard. I guess. And then provoke. Oh, it's a Kate Sith. I see. Okay. Alright. Let's potion up a little bit. We'll have to do that again. Smack it about. Alright, they both seem to be on me at the moment, so that's good. Well, I'd really prefer if we had a different setup. I'll have to change my paradigm setup after this. Okay, cool. Should be safe now. Let's switch back to the damage one. Ooh, that one crystal. Interesting. Weird. Just smack you about. There you go. Battles are getting much more interesting now that I've got more stuff available to me. I think that's fairly obvious. Hello. What's a lot about? I didn't get a rating for that. I evidently suck. Thanks, game. 